Hey, I'm Justin. It's Cinemassacre. Truth. It's monster madness of the asshole-ish variety. Today we're reviewing a very spooky horror film. That is a 2019 film Cats, directed by Tomper, which is based on the hit fetish musical of the same name. Oh boy, this one is a doozy. Oh boy. Oh, let's get into it. I think we're in the valley, the uncanny valley. So the movie follows a young kitty cat named Victoria. She gets abandoned by her owners and dropped in the streets of London. No time for pet care. After wandering the streets on her own, she runs into a group of ugly cats who introduce themselves as the Gisticles. They become friends and show her the world of the Gisticles and prepare for the upcoming Gistical Ball, an event every year where one cat will be sacrificed in order to enter Valhalla and be granted a new life. And I am not fucking joking. Besides the non-existent story, which goes from scene to scene, of random cats who sing about why they should be sacrificed, it fails to make any of the songs or characters interesting. These fun characters include Old Deuteronomy, Mr. Mistoffelees, Monkey Strap, Bumoria, Rum Tum Tugger, and many more I don't want to name. It is a fucking most nightmare of an experience, far more higher flying than anything I have seen in recent years. Like, who thought this would be a good idea? To invest time and money in all those poor fucking animators, all working long hours under a director who knows diddly dick about visual effects. Hell, even the practical things like the set design, for example, failed to achieve the sense of skill it set out to make the actors look cat size. Like, why is this garbage can the same fucking size as a cat? Nothing makes sense, and everything looks like a furry's wet dream. You fucking freaks will love it. <laughs> oh, and this movie was a disaster at the box office, hitting only around $75 million on a budget of $95 million. Holy shit, at least my movie made more than Avatar. There was even rumors of an early edit, where the animators added buckles to the cats giving it the name of a buckle cut, sadly. Universal made them re-edit the film to get rid of the buckles in time for the movie's release. So we may never see the better version of this movie, ever. This movie is a cat ass trophy, but it stars America's sweetheart, James Corden. So that automatically gives this a 10 out of 10. Oh, I have to go now, sorry. Family Matters just started. I cannot miss it. Hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you tomorrow with my next hour review. See. Big. Sometimes I'll watch a movie and I don't really have much to say about it. And you don't want to hear that. You, you don't want it, uh, me to just sit here and go, well, uh, this movie's okay, I guess.